Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I sure appreciate you stopping by. If this is your first visit, I would be honored if you would consider clicking on the subscribe button. The problem, we have a new motor home. That's actually not the problem. We're, we're really excited about the having the Magnitude F550 chassis. Oh, oh, we love it. It's just so nice. But our tow behind situation, not so great. So in in pre in the previous video that I that I create the, the previous video about flat towing an F-150, how to flat tow an F-150, I mentioned that you want your tow bar to be as horizontal as possible. Now, a lot of a lot of people will say within three inches or so, but really. If you're pulling that much weight, you want that sucker to be as level as possible so you don't have a, a tunnel, or if it goes the other way, it can ride over. So we need to get that flat somehow. There's also the fact that that's a two and a half inch receiver up there, and my safety cables have to connect back there because and they're too short so I have found some solutions so let's get into it With the two and a half inch receiver, all of, all of your tow bars are gonna be a two inch. Just about every accessory you buy to tow your vehicle is gonna be a two inch. You're gonna need an adapter. This is by Reese. It's just a sleeve. Now you can, you can buy some and I'm kinda, kinda wishing I had done that, but you can buy some that have a, a lip so that when you put it in place <clears throat> it lines up so with this one you actually have to push it inside but once I get this thing on it's not going to be coming off and right, so now we need to go down which is where this bad boy comes into play. Whoo, this is a heavy thing too. And this is a Roadmaster doubler. Now, you can buy singles, but I have plans. I need a doubler. So let's put this one in place. Uh, looking up. Now this one is two inch up and then four inch down. It's got two inch and then a two inch and then a two inch, two inch and two inch. All right. Ah.
So, one thing I didn't invest in was a locking collar. As you can see, we're gonna have quite a bit of play, so I'm gonna need to buy a clamp. I have them for out here, but I don't have one for that big one. Although, I might be able to make it work. Simple enough. No more rattle. So now we need to do the Put the tow bar in. Oh, and in case you're wondering, this is a locking pin. It's a barrel lock. We don't want it to walk to go away. Dust cap. And it just goes on there and it locks in. These work great. I also have the locking pin that came with the tow bar here let's get a little different arrangement Got a little play on that one. So we're gonna go ahead and snug it up too. Washer, lock washer, and then the nut. This one is having issues with the thread.
coupled. Yeah, that's looking really, really good. Let me get those bars locked. Well, that looks really good. I need to make, I need to tighten that up. Looks like my pivot point here is at an angle. That one. So now we got to sort out the cable situation. So when the safety cables are connected and you want them to, to be crisscross, you need to have some play so that you can turn corners. And I've had to add heavy duty chain shackles because the hook won't fit in there. I found this product. This is from Kurt. There's safety chain cables that are coiled. There we go. We're gonna connect there. There. I don't like the way that hangs down. So I think. This way I can get a little loop right there. Yeah, I like that. That way they won't hang down. better all right now we have our umbilical i don't know if that's going to be too short or not get you out of the sun that sun can be deadly all right so now we're all hooked up Yeah, I like that. So now I have a question about turn. Because I got a plan. On the Vesta, we found that I had a I had a square tube bumper, and I put a basket on there. Found that very handy to carry firewood and bags of trash on our way out of camp. So I decided to put a hitch basket on here, but I don't know if I need to extend that or not. So what I need to do is make a 90 degree turn and see 
where that is in relation to everything. So let me get set up for that. So I'm well into a 90 degree turn here. And as you can see, I have plenty of clearance here. I was thinking I might need to drill another hole to push that back in, but, and, and I think, I, I still think I will because I would rather have a little more because as you can see, there'd just be a little bit there. See what I'm talking about? That's where the hole is. So that'd be one inch catching here. And I'd much rather have way more and have that in a little, a little bit closer. So now we have the receiver hitch set up so that we can tow the F-150 behind Trudy, Trudy Thunder, the Thor Magnitude. And I've added the hitch haul carrier. I still have one, one adjustment I need to make there, but there you go. In case you're wondering about the hitch mount cargo carrier, that's the Max Hall hitch mount cargo carrier. And I like it because it's it's 53 and one quarter in width and 20 and three quarter in depth. So it's not sticking out quite as far as, as most of them. And it's got a 500 pound capacity. Links in the description below. Now, I've purchased all of these products through Amazon. So if you're interested in exploring that, I am an Amazon affiliate. So I do earn a little bit of, of revenue when you click on the link. Doesn't add any additional costs to you, but it, it helps support the channel. And I would appreciate that. So the links are gonna be in the description below for each one of these items. The, the two, the doubler, the hitch carrier, as well as the sleeve, the locks, the extensions, and actually I'll include a link for the tow bar as well. If you found this informative and or entertaining, I'd appreciate you clicking on that thumbs up and sharing me across your social media. That really helps with the, the YouTube algorithm. And for those of you who have been following along, I am so deeply honored. I really appreciate your support. And for my patrons, you guys rock. Y'all come back now, you hear?